All right, today we're gonna do a little switcheroo here, but we're gonna get some new stuff. Always cut towards yourself so you know it's safe. Cause you could cut yourself. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I think you're right. All right, so today, what I want to do is open this box by the end of the night. It's a fan. A fan. So I've got a 16 inches, of, I think it's a 14 inch uh, radiator fan. We're going to put this thing on because it kind of overheats a little bit if it idles, so we're going to put this thing on there. I haven't put a fan on it ever since I did the engine swap and all the time with the turbo I've never had a fan on this engine. Uh, so think about that once. Alright guys and if you like this video or any one of my videos be sure to share it with somebody that you know it helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it and if you don't already know YouTube was generous enough to change their entire structure so when you're subscribed to the channel you don't see any of the videos so if you'd like to subscribe make sure the notifications are turned on and you have two options Occasional notifications or all notifications. So do what works for you. If you're not seeing the videos, that's probably why. So let's get back to business. Okay, so I'm gonna put my fan right on the radiator. That's how we're gonna do that. What I'm gonna do here is I started to put a terminal on a piece of wire here. So what I'm gonna do is run the wire from the fan to a ground over here, and then I'm just gonna run another wire over here to uh, my blower motor for the fan. There's a, a plug there for my heater blower, and that's what I'm gonna run the power off of because I'm not using it for anything else. And then I'll be able to control the switch from inside. I don't think I'm gonna run it all fancy off the, off the computer for now. I'm just gonna hook it up like this just to see how the fan works. I'm not even sure if this fan's gonna be big enough or powerful enough, so we're just gonna try that for now. So I'm gonna basically run this thing over here. I disconnected this piece. Took some sandpaper, ground the metal down. Grind all the paint off. Down to bare metal. And I'm gonna hook this up. I did have to trim a little bit of this plastic chunk off. I'm gonna go underneath. Jam the screw back in. This is just the 8 mil. 8 milli. Like your favorite rap song. I don't know what that meant, but just go with it, guys. So now this I'll be able to run as long as I want it to wherever that fan's going to go. And that should be pretty good. So now I'll work on running the power. I'll run it kind of over same distance around. So these things got these little clippy dippies here. Right here. Just put these little clips on here. And yes, I said clippy dippy. I have small children, it just kind of comes naturally. I'm just gonna kind of mount this thing where I want it. Might be tough with the radiator, AC condenser, and intercooler. This will be a treat. I'm going go in from the bottom side. I'm just going to kind of line this thing up where it's going to fit and I'll be able to get to the wiring. And I'm just going to go for it and stab one of these things through there and see if we can actually get it to come all the way through both of them. Success, boys. Do that with the other four. Three. Never been good at counting. Well, these are going through a lot easier than I thought, so that's good. Hit the like button. Now I'm just going to take these little springing dingy things. I don't even really... I don't know if you really need to use these. Probably should, I guess. Just to be really cool. I think it's like 10 extra points if you use these or something. You're like, I don't know, which way is it supposed to go? Like, are these springs supposed to go on the fan side or, or what? I've seen it done a couple different ways, but 
what is the right way, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what the right way is. If you haven't already, I know somebody will. All right, so now we got these two little typical fan connectors here. I think I actually have some of these. I think I have some of these in my little electrical connector bin. I think that's the female. There's the male. We can make some babies now. I'm just gonna set these aside so that'll connect to the fan and then I did already make one other connector. I did have to file the edges down a little bit. I filed this down so this will fit inside this little terminal here for this plug. It slides right in there. So we'll splice that wire on. So we'll split this little guy. Strip the little guy, whatever you want to call it. Put that turd in there. I just usually use this little guy right here. Smash the hell out of it. We can stuff that in there just like that. So what's really funny is this wire is like the perfect length and this was already pre-cut. This came out of another harness or something. I don't even remember what this came from. This is like the perfect length already pre-cut so I don't have to trim it anymore. <laughs> And just uh, put the terminal on it that I need. Well, since this will be the, the positive wire, the blue one has the, the male, so I gotta put the, the female end on this one. So we'll get this in there. Smashy, smashy. Jam that thing on. And we'll take the the other end, cut it to length first. Same thing, push that on, smash it down. Or crimp would be the proper word. There, and you can hear it turn on because I forgot to turn the key off. Right, so I actually just went ahead and ran two wires all the way to that plug because that plug has power when the switch is on so just ran it right to there both wires going right to the fan now when I turn the switch on in the dash it turns the fan on all right guys so what I'm gonna do now is uh, hook up the scanner start it get it up to like 210 212 ish and then I'm gonna turn the fan on and see if the temperature actually comes down so if it starts to come down or holds the temperature there, I'll be pretty confident with it. If not, I may need a bigger fan. I don't really know. So I kind of just threw the thing in. It's temporary. And if it works, I'll button it up good. I do want to redo all of the wiring, so I'm not really too worried about how it is right now. So let's get started on this thing and see if it works. So that's it for this one guys. Not exactly sure how this fan is going to work. It doesn't seem like it's working all that great just idling, but it was also idling sitting here for 20 minutes, which is better than it was doing before. So I feel like it's going to be okay if driving around. The truck was already really cool. Uh, as long as I was driving like 40, 45 miles an hour, it would stay around 192 to 194. Even if it did get up to you know, 220, whatever. If I would drive a little bit, it would come right back down to 192. So in town driving, maybe 20 mile an hour, 25 miles an hour, it might get a little warm, uh, but I guess I'm gonna have to test that out and we'll see. So maybe that'll be the next video, but I'll keep you guys updated and see how this thing does. Be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, tell your mom, tell your brother, give me some love. 
Thanks for watching.